It's my pleasure to be with you as part of the annual report process for Chesterfield County. This is my first uh, time talking through the annual report and I can reflect back a little bit of the, my first year and the accomplishments of the team, of the Board of Supervisors and the citizens themselves, as well as looking forward to the next year. First and foremost, uh, what's happened over this past year is a sense of engagement, a sense of transparency with the citizens. I've loved seeing so many people come out, volunteering their time and efforts to learn a little bit more about the county, for us to share our information to you, as well as both of us working together at not only solving today's problems, but trying to address the future. There's many examples of community meetings, and whether those meetings are one-on-one -on -one or with large groups of people, all of them have been purposeful. One example is our Citizens Academy. Uh, it was just a pleasure to see many people come out for our first academy in the spring, and right now we're in our second academy. Uh, we hope to have them twice a year, so please sign up and get involved in that fashion. We've had such good feedback about people who have realized what local government is. As you know, many people can go through their schooling, uh, even their adult life, without even knowing what local government does and doesn't do. What we are trying to do is just represent to you who we are, what we can do for you, and how to position you to best understand your community and your roles that you can get involved. If I could switch to human services, uh, you know, again, I've seen tremendous efforts on the part of social services just in one year since I've been here. They had one of the highest turnovers as a department, and through instilling um, career development programs, uh, competitive salaries, as well as creating a work environment that they could be better be engaged with their customers and clients, has really put them in touch with what it means to be a social service provider. Another element of human services is our mental health support services, led by Debbie Bircham. She is recognized throughout the state for a couple of programs that she has in initiated over the years. The most recent is the same day access. And it's so important when somebody's having their worst day that they can call us and that we can see them within that day as opposed to scheduling an appointment further down the road as many other places have done elsewhere throughout the state. A significant achievement of Chesterfield County was to pivot from being a partial tenant of River City Sportsplex. Again, it was a private venture uh, that was known really throughout the country for many of the tournaments that it hosted. But it was stuck because we were an occupant Monday through Thursday. They were the landlord who used it just on weekends. Uh, it was not necessarily run in a manner that was really for the benefit of these tournaments and the citizens to access. Well, all those problems came together and what resulted was an acquisition of Chesterfield County of the entire sports complex. What has happened is, is phenomenal. The, the feedback we have gotten, not just from citizens who can access their park uh, during the day, dawn to dusk, but also from these tournaments now they can more solidify their contracts, have week-long events. I know some of you know that I had previously worked in Hanover County for many years as well as Henrico County both as a deputy county administrator. And I've made friends with the current county administrators and those elected officials and many of the other senior leaders of both Hanover and Henrico. That has served me very well in coming to Chesterfield County. And I brought that spirit of cooperation and collaboration with me. Many of the things that this region has done has gone unnoticed for many years. Our public safety and water and sewer agreements are, are known throughout the state as far as being a way in which we benefit from each other's assets for a fair price and a fair resource back and forth. In Chesterfield County, we have many assets. Henricus, Swim RVA, Sportsplex, a lot of other historical attractions, community attractions. And what I'm starting to do more and more is promote those assets to the region, not just other governments, but the big corporations of the region, because we need their participation to help make those assets succeed. Thank you, it's been a great year that I've been a part of Chesterfield County and I'm looking forward to many more years.